Okay, our next tutorial is the paint tool with layer adjustment. Um, and what we want to do is create a new layer down here on our layers palette, and it's going to be blank. And that's okay, and I'm going to call this hair paint layer. And you guessed it, I'm going to paint her hair. So I've selected my uh, paintbrush tool over here on the left hand side, and I'm going to go for a color, I don't know, let's say red. Nice and fiery red. And my, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to make my paintbrush smaller by using the left hand bracket tool. And I've just noticed that my opacity is too low here. Now remember brush um, size and softness is going to uh, factor in here as it always does when we're using our paintbrush tool. So make sure if you want a soft edge brush or a hard edge brush uh, that that's what you've got selected. And I'm doing a very quick job. It's going to look terrible before it looks better. Don't worry, that's okay. Go to the other side. The edges are really important, but if you do a mistake, don't worry, I'll show you at the end here how to touch those up. So I'm painting in her hair. I look like I'm a kindergarten student here. I'm gonna zoom out, it looks awful. Okay, but here's where the magic happens. Up on the top of the layer palette, you'll see that it normally is set to normal blending options. And what I want you to do is to scroll through them and see the different effects that you get by the different ways that the layers can blend together. And each one is going to give you a unique option and a unique look. Um, and maybe one of them is something that you'd be interested in keeping. We often like overlay. It's a little too bright. Let's see. I like this soft light. I think it looks somewhat plausible. So once you have the effect selected, what you can do is continue to use the paint tool, uh, maybe using smaller brushes to kind of use these spot, smaller spots to make it look more realistic get all the stray hairs that I originally first missed. And if I overpaint um, somewhere where I didn't want uh, the effect, say I go here on her neck, what I can do is just switch very quickly to the eraser tool, again making it smaller, and I can clean up with my eraser tool. And again, the eraser tool also has hardness and softness options, so you may want a soft eraser um, so that you can kind of blend it in better. And you can go back and forth painting and erasing until you get it perfect. Um, and then, if you want to do an additional uh, layer blend option, you can. You can do a, two different ones on the same picture. So I'm going to go and make another clear layer. And this time I'm going to do her dress paint layer. And this time I'm going to pick a different color. So I'm going to pick a blue. And again, I'm actually going to switch to a hard edge brush for, oh, make sure I've got the paintbrush tool selected, for the edge. I find it easiest to do the edges and then fill it in after. the bigger brush. Again, I'm not doing a very good job here to try to be quick for you guys, but I think you'll get the idea. So switching to a bigger brush, filling in. Oops. Again, don't worry about being too perfect because yes, we can always go back um, and fix it later with the eraser tool. I'm not sure that I want it to affect that necklace there. Okay, so beautiful blue dress. Not exactly until again we go through the options and look at which one might be the most aesthetically pleasing. Some of them aren't going to make much of a difference at all. That's kind of pretty, just kind of a purpley color. You still get the blending of the, the lace and the detail. And then I'm just going to have to go through here with the eraser tool um, and clean up my image so that I don't get that kind of um, outlining effect that I'm getting on the other skin color. Um, so just clean it up, and when you're done, you can save that as your paint with layer blend option.